So what's going on guys, welcome back to episode number 102 of our Portsmouth Criminal on the PS4 for 15 and we're going to be kicking off this episode having a look at a recent squad report for the start of the new month. So if you guys don't know already, in all of my crew mode at the start of every month I will be showing you the squad report and a... Um, the league table of how we're currently doing in the league so that's just to let you guys know if you're wondering um when squad reports are released and um as you can see there are a lot of greens as well so i was very pleased with the progress of a lot of the players and actually there we're also currently sitting in fourth place uh six points behind a liverpool so quite a long way behind but we're currently sitting five points clear of manchester united but the first um of three games in this episode was going to be at the stadium of light up against sunderland the black cats so it's going to be a pretty difficult game but they were in the relegation zone, which I do know is true. But the problem is when you're playing teams in the relegation zone, especially this late in the season, they normally give it everything because they've got nothing to lose. They have to try and get out of the relegation zone to do their very best. And uh, mainly, they go out all out attack of football and try and get you on the counter. And they play really good football normally. And I think it's normally hard to break them down. But we do get the first chance game as uh, Melandi plays a lovely ball through to Origi. It was good to save from Pantilla one, but thankfully for us, the ball uh, rebounds straight into the path of Origi. And a little bit of an acrobatic finish from him there. Uh, he slotted the ball home past the big Romanian goalkeeper, um, Pantilamon, in the um, Sunderland net. It was a fantastic finish as well from Origi, which I was very pleased with how he's progressed uh, so far this season and so far this um, this series. But they do actually get a good chance in the 48th minute. It's Bridge Cup plays the ball to Wickham. Wickham through to Formica. He has a good shot, but thank for us. Uh, Scuffett makes a save and gets up quickly to deny them. But we do lose the ball out. A poor throw in from um, Scuffett. The Play the ball to Formica, but he does actually make up for amends with a fantastic save as we do then manage to get the ball clear. But in the 82nd minute, as they were pushing men forward, Lukaku picked up the ball as we got the ball clear, and it was three on one. We play the ball past Robert. It comes to Zivkovic, who's one on one with Pantilamon, and he gets there just before the unrushing Romanian goalkeeper as he slots the ball into the back of net and gives us a 2 0 lead up against um, Sunderland at the Stadium of Light, and it definitely looked like now the game was going to be over, and it looked like we was going to gain all three points in this game and it will be a very crucial three points as we are now on a mission to try and catch Sunderland to try and get that third place and also we don't want to uh, let Manchester United catch as well but unfortunately for us to actually catch a, a consolation goal it's Buckley plays the ball across to a striker's name that I'll never be able to pronounce but he scores a pretty good header I don't know where Scuffett was going it's one of those um, things where the goalkeeper suddenly comes out on his own you don't tell him to come out but he still comes out and I don't really know why the goalkeepers do that but I'd like to um, somehow try and stop it because it does annoy you a little bit but the next game of this episode was was going to be up against Manchester United and it was going to be a very difficult game. It was a must-win game for us if we wanted to try and give a little bit of breathing space between the two clubs and if we wanted to really cement our place in Champions League football for next season. And as you hear, they do actually put out a very strong squad with the front three of Di Maria, Van Persie and Rooney, one of the best front three um, of any team. But the first chance game does actually fall to us. Lukaku hits it from range, but it was a good save from the head. They do then manage to get the ball clear um, out wide to Garber. Garber, with lovely first-time control, plays the ball inside to Junior Melander and uh, Melanda takes on a few players cuts the ball to Sterling Sterling's Coleman Coleman skips past uh, Marquisha who can't keep up with him with the pace he puts a good shot in it was a very good save from De Gea but thankfully for us it was a really really good shot there um, for uh, Divo Kariki as he put the ball past De Gea who was recently on the floor after making a really good save from De Gea and thankfully we found ourselves um 2-1 up against 1-0 um, uh, up sorry against uh, Manchester United but they do actually get a good chance here Rooney plays the ball through but Scuffer makes a really good save and we do then manage to get the ball clear but in the 56th minute they do come very close to scoring Di Maria cuts the ball inside to Mata we do collect the header but a very poor clearance from Ayani gives the ball straight to Robin Van Persie and he has a simple of finishes as he slots the ball into the back of the net and there was no way we were going to be um, saving that one but I'm very disappointed that um, I didn't play square and just hoof the ball out of harm's way but I didn't I tried to be a little bit clever and play out from the back and it didn't work very well but we do actually get awarded a penalty in the 72nd minute um, as you see there um, we did actually get taken down uh, from Luke Shaw and Zivkovic converts the penalty as he slots the ball past David De Gea and into the back of net and a lovely celebration from Zivkovic as he was running along the fans as um, he was very ecstatic about getting that goal because it could pretty much uh, be the goal that secures Portsmouth Champions League football and as you can see there the players definitely knew it as it's a very good penalty as well he kept the pressure on and a very good uh, penalty 
see as he put the ball past De Gea. But then we do get another penalty awarded to us as Garbutt plays the ball to Melanda. Melanda plays the ball through uh, to Zivkovic. He turns uh, Luke Shaw and Luke Shaw with another challenge. This time he does get sent off for the challenge and uh, that Manchester United are going to finish the remaining 10 minutes of the game with 10 men. And that's two penalties that Luke Shaw has conceded in less than 10 minutes and now been sent off the field. An awful 10 minutes from uh, the young English uh, left back. But Zivkovic, instead of going to the right, he goes to the uh, instead of going to the left, sorry, he goes to the right this time and slots the ball past De Gea. De Gea thought he was going to go the same way as he did before. He didn't. He outsmited De Gea and put the ball into the back of the net. And that was going to be how the game was going to finish as Zivkovic had... Um, won a penalty for us and converted two as well. But the next game of this episode of, and final game was going to be at Anfield up against Liverpool. And as you can see from the table, if we win this game, we would currently go uh, we would leapfrog Liverpool and go right on the tails of Tottenham if we could go ahead and win it. And um, But they do actually have a very good score. They have Barini, who's a pretty good striker as well, as is Balotelli, who's very very good in the game. And we do actually have to put out our second squad for this one because our first squad was used in the Manchester United game but the game was also going to be played in the snow and I don't know whether about you guys but let me know in the comments down below do you like playing in the snow I absolutely hate it because I think it's just something different you can't really see the ball very well it's distracting and I just really do not like playing in the snow but they do actually get a good chance here and they do actually get the first goal of the game um, after the ball was cleared off the post the ball gets played to Moreno Moreno does very well to take on Draxler he plays the ball inside um Eventually to Lalana, Lalana to uh, Kadira, Kadira back to Balotelli, and Balotelli hits it first time past Simone Scoffer into the back of the net. And unfortunately for us, in the 67th minute, we found ourselves 1 0 down against Liverpool at Anfield, and it's going to be very difficult to try and get ourselves back in the game. But we do try straight out, but unfortunately, Marshall gets deep possession from Lalana. Lalana plays the ball to Lucas, um, Lucas plays the ball out wide uh, to Lalana. Lalana does very well to play. Back to uh, Balotelli, Balotelli to Lucas once again, and what a fantastic finish this was from Lucas. And we found ourselves now two goals down within the space of two minutes, and we now had it all to do. We had a mountain to climb just to try and get anything out of the game, as with 20 minutes left on the clock, we had to try and score two goals just to try and get anything out of the game. We do, in fact, actually get a goal in the 88th minute as Kingsley Coman takes on Allen. No one catch up with him with his pace, and he shots the ball past um, the Liverpool goalkeeper into the back of the net, and he was going to get no chance of saving that one. But once again, we just couldn't do it. We're not good enough in defence and I think we do have to really strengthen up our um, defence in the up and coming um, transfer windows as um, we're lacking a little bit at the back. But in the 90th minute, we try and play up from the back. We do lose the ball. It comes to Aspas. Aspa plays the ball, square ball across to Lucas and he picks up his second of the game. But that's actually going to be it for this episode. We actually end up losing the game at 3-1. So if you did enjoy the episode, please make sure to hit the like button down below as very much appreciated and I really hope to see you next time very, very soon for the next episode of the Tottenham Career Mode. Thank Thank you. Bye-bye.